Good day and welcome. Okay, I'm going to be a ukulele expert. However, I've literally owned this less than a day. So uh, here's my expertise. I'm a guitar player, okay, and I thought I'd pull a prank on myself and buy a ukulele. I've always wanted one, actually. Uh, don't, don't, don't tell anybody, even though I'm putting this out on the World Wide Web for the entire world to see. Well, I guess cats out of the bag. Uh, but anyway, um, I'm one of those guys that uh, when I go on stage, if there is an instrument I've never played before and it's there, I will try to play it. I'm one of those guys. I don't even need to know how it works. It's just, let's see what I can do with it, you know, uh, just to try it. So if there's one of these on the wall, pick it up, just see what happens. Where are all the notes on it? Doesn't matter, just see what you come up with. So there you go. Uh, great, great little, um, great little instrument to start on again. Uh, this thing seems to be holding tuning okay. Uh, it's definitely not the same as my guitars. Uh, the spacing is not too bad. Uh, the, my mandolin that I used to have actually had a smaller neck on it, uh, but yet this is just as tight to play. It's because the mandolin was doubled up on the strings, it was a different tuning as well. Um, the mandolin, it's... Actually, I, I, I can't say it's harder to play, uh, depending on if you got one that's not set up. But nylon strings versus steel strings do make a difference. Uh, but you can get kind of... Um, you know, some good chords out of it, some very nice... Uh, I like that D minor chord. C on is nice. The other thing that's uh, cool about it too is that, especially uh, like for me, I'm a, I'm a pick player. You know, I play electric guitar again for years and years and years. Um, but it's a great way to get your finger picking style. Uh, finger style in there uh, because it, it just seems more the spacing makes it really easy so if you go from this to a guitar even on a regular six string guitar the spacing is a little bit more narrow on most uh, like, uh, even acoustic guitars so it makes it tougher to where this is very easy to you know you got a lot of Yeah, you can learn pretty quick. But my goal with this is to play it live. And, uh, yeah, to be taken seriously. Did you see the dolphins on the back? Anyway, um...
Yeah, anyway, yeah. Uh, yeah, it does have those dolphins on the back. I don't know if you can see them, the tuners. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, serious dolphins. They're serious. Uh, so, yeah, I bought this instrument for about 40 bucks and with tax and all, it was 45 um, I will take this to the jam night after I get a couple of decent little tunes down. Don't know what I'm going to do, but uh, I've already got like two or three that I just got to learn the lyrics a bit better, and then uh, I could probably do two or three songs that sound okay. And uh, that, that kind of stuff. Uh, there is no strap on this thing, which would be kind of nice so you could let it hang a little bit freer so you're not resting your hand on it, because I do find you put it against your bottom. Oops, sorry. That's without, uh, that's the volume there. Put it against your body. Push down, put your hand on it. So you're, when you rest your hand on it, you gotta rest your hand on it very, very light. So just get a little bit of, just a little time to uh, adjust to the fragility of this. There's my ukulele. Uh, it's very easy to play. It'd be great for a great first instrument for a lot of people. It basically it, it retains the coolness of a guitar sort of ish kind of. Uh, it's a one upsmanship from the recorder. Uh, yeah. So and if you're an experienced musician, uh, I mean, I, I'm going to probably do something with this uh, upcoming uh, season you know, in 2019, uh, is to basically, when I start playing gigs live again and start getting paid, how many times this thing is going to pay for itself? You know, I mean, in a day, two days or three days of busking, you could probably pay for it at least once, you know. If you're a really good busker, you'll probably pay for it twice in one day. If you play an average gig, you'll probably get a couple hundred bucks in that gig, or at least a hundred bucks, it'll pay for itself, like, you know, if you get 120 bucks, it pays for itself like three times in one night. <laughs> yeah, that's, so that could be kind of... It, it, again, it's a great place to start, and uh, yeah, you go from there. So anyway, that's it. Yeah, there we go.